Okay, let's continue on this side. Well, I don't think I can make these videos any shorter because like this is the amount of work that goes into them so it takes a long time. But hopefully you guys learn from this and it's useful. See, then these black hairs are going to overlap these white hairs here. So why don't you guys give me some feedback, tell me what you guys want to see, like what kind of video, what kind of tutorials, and then I'll work on those. I know a lot of people want to learn how I draw hair, and this is it right here. But I'll, I'll add a lot more videos, me explaining it. So the more you see it, the easier it's going to become for you guys. But again, it all depends on the feedback that I get, because if not a lot of people are watching it, then I'm not going to post as much. Okay, we're getting uh, close to the top. Again, we want, you want to make these hairs curve, you don't want to make them straight. The more they overlap, the better texture you're going to get once you start adding pencil. So keep them random but in the direction of the hair growth. So that's why we added these, uh, these guidelines just to indicate in which direction the hair is growing. But once you start adding the indentations, they should curve, they should overlap, but going in that direction, the hair growth, of the hair growth. So you could also check out my some of the tutorials that I've made on my website. <clears throat> Just go to onlypencil.com, and there you can see all my artwork too, and prints that I have, originals that are for sale. Well, this technique, I consider it to be an advanced technique, I guess. 
but it doesn't mean that you shouldn't like try it out and go for it and see how see what you think of it you know we'll just do this side first this last bit here So then here we have the black hair and then we'll just add a couple of random black hairs. Well these are the black hairs except that we're making them, what we're adding here are the highlights from from the light that's is hitting it so you just quick indentations curving long ones okay so well, let's continue on the on the lighter hair So you always keep in mind of about the layers. Because those layers you're gonna be picking them out, you're gonna be separating them as we start adding pencil. So just think of the layers like this, like you have one layer here. Another layer here, another layer there. So then as we indent, hair grows from that layer. Then above that layer, the next layer of hair starts growing and so on again it's important to keep the indentations tight together because if there's too much space in between them it's just not gonna look natural and it's just gonna look like scratches on paper So you're gonna have a couple going this way, a couple going this way, a couple going down the middle. Again, the best way to understand this is to actually see a picture of a uh, of hair, like close up of hair, and you'll notice all these like curved hairs and hair overlapping, uh, clumps of hair, like like hairs group, single hairs grouped together. So you could have hairs that, that meet at the tip or you could have hairs that start from one spot and then fan out. Like having a combination of all these different types of like hairs or hair uh, behavior will make a huge difference. You'll notice these once you start adding pencil. And then we'll pick these out by adding shadows, highlights, and, and all those things.
Okay, hopefully you guys are finding this helpful and if you are, I appreciate a subscribe, a like, share. That would help me out so much. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's continue on the next layer. See, and then once we finish indenting, then we're gonna we're gonna erase all these pencil lines. Again, don't, you know what? Don't feel discouraged either if if it doesn't turn out like like mine does. Just keep trying it. But what I want is I want you to understand that like this whole technique, the whole concept behind it. That's what's important. Let's go to the next. See what I like to do uh, along these black spots is have single hairs overlapping the, the edge of the, of the spots. Okay, we're almost done, we're almost to the top. I know I could have made the area smaller, but uh, I don't know, it's just more time for you guys to see, so I guess this, this is good. It's a good size. You know, what's interesting about this technique is that even after we add the pencil, depending on the light source, wherever you have the drawing hanging, you can still see these uh, these shadows cast by the indentations, and it adds a bit, an extra bit of detail without without the pencil. Just the shadows from these indentation gives the drawing more texture. Again, keep in mind the hair doesn't grow straight. It's always it curves, and uh, it even curves out. So it curves up, curves up, down, and then up.
Okay, we're gonna finish this. And then I'll continue in the next video. So again, you guys, thanks for watching and I hope you guys are learning from this. And I'd appreciate the support by you guys subscribing, liking, and like I said, sharing. And I also want your feedback would be helpful. So let me know what you guys think. Also, let me let me know if these videos are too long or if they're good. If they're good like this. Hopefully you guys can see the indentations. Alright you guys, so I'll stop here and I'll see you guys in the next video.